Hello everyone, I'm Alicia, this is Bijou, and you're watching Alicia TV. In today's video, we are covering some rather disturbing content. So, if you have any kids or if you're faint of heart, get them the hell out of the room before you're poisoned for the rest of your life. Now... Ow! Her toenails dug into my kneecap! If you are unaware of who Amos Yi is, he is a YouTuber who has gotten himself into some serious hot water recently. Now, he is um, not out as a pedophile, but he advocates for it. And uh, based on some of the things he says, I'm, I'm not really sure if he's suppressing the idea that he is indeed a pedophile and has not yet come out with it, but he advocates for it openly. Um, he and Andy Worski had a debate recently, a few days ago, it was four hours of hell. Now, I watched all of it, so you don't have to. Um, it was absolutely excellent. Andy did a fantastic job countering his points, and anybody else who Andy had brought in, Blair White, Hunter Avalon, a um, few other people, it was all very, very, very good, but the best parts were from when Andy and Amos were just by themselves. I would think that the making out with a child, as long as it's consensual, it's a very beautiful thing. Sex and intimacy, as both of us know, is a very beautiful thing. And but just because it applies to children, then you think that it's wrong? Consent to sex. There is no law that specifies what age you have to be to have sex. However, criminal law determines when a person can be charged with the crime for having sexual contact with a minor. It's against the law to have sex or sexual contact with anyone under the age of 13. People age 12 and under cannot agree to have sex, even when a person 12 or under says he or she agrees to have sex. The person he or she agrees to have sex with can be charged with a crime. Is it common sense for a child to want dick? It is, it is actually. Get okay, but, the but, fuck it. That's okay, but, but we'll get back to that later. Citation okay, no. needed. No, I, I, I need you to answer this right now. No, no, no. Citation no, needed. No, no, no. We're, we're, when okay. do kids, when do kids at age four, again, I've been around my girlfriend's nephew. He likes cars and toys. A child who wakes up wanting dick would have had to be molested before, and now it's brainwashed them. Um, Absolute brainwashed garbage. Them. How Absolute is garbage? Where, there, where there is. It is you. It is, you okay, you, I, I, you, can, hang I can. On, hang, on, hang on. You were born and you were like pussy tits. No, you learn it through living. Yeah, exactly. You don't have that exactly. initial sexual drive when you're a child to go fucking no. That's what, that's what puberty's for. Here are examples of sexual behavior in children aged two through six years old. Here are some normal common behaviors. Touching, masturbating genitals in public and private, viewing, touching peers or new siblings' genitals, showing genitals to peers, standing, sitting too close, tries to view peer adult nudity, and behaviors are transient, few, and distractible. Less common normal behaviors include rubbing body against others, trying to insert tongue in mouth while kissing, touching peer adult genitals, crude mimic of movements associated with sexual acts, sexual behaviors that are occasionally but persistently disruptive to others, and behaviors are transient and moderately responsive to distraction. Uncommon behaviors in normal children are asking peer adults to engage in specific sexual acts, inserting objects into genitals, explicit imitation of intercourse, touching animal genitals, sexual behaviors that are frequently disruptive to others, behaviors that are persistent and resistant to parental distraction. The final and last section here, the rarely normal category, are any sexual behaviors involving children who are four or more years apart, a variety of sexual behaviors displayed on a daily basis, sexual behaviors that result in emotional distress or physical pain, sexual behaviors associated with other physically aggressive behavior, sexual behaviors that involved coercion, and behaviors that are persistent and the child becomes angry if distracted. As you can see, a child being curious about his or her anatomy or the anatomy of others is fairly common. There are many other warning signs that point to a child having been sexually abused, but curiosity about anatomy and things around them is exactly that. Curiosity. Now, Andy brought up a scenario about 
kids playing doctor. And that is totally something that happens. Um, it's different when it is one naive child experimenting and playing doctor with another naive child, both trying to figure out each other and the world around them. However, it is incredibly different when there is a adult who is not naive and takes advantage of the child's naive mind. If there is a percentage that they might like it, the chances of them being having PTSD or worse that happens to the child, you are using that statistic to protect the child. You are okay. not going, well, maybe he might like it. You know what? Fuck him and tell me what he says after. Andy is absolutely correct. There is a significant probability that a child will be mentally, emotionally, or physically traumatized, damaged from having a sexual encounter with an adult when they are a minor. There is nothing good that can come from it. One third of abused children will eventually victimize their own children. 80% of abused children meet the diagnostic criteria for at least one psychiatric disorder at age 21, including but not limited to anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and eating disorders. Abused children are 25% more likely to experience teen pregnancy, and abused teens are three times less likely to practice safe sex. On top of that, 14.4% of all men imprisoned in the United States were abused as children, and 36.7% of all women in prison were abused as children. Children who have been sexually abused are 2.5 times more likely to develop alcohol abuse, and children who have been sexually abused are 3.8 times more likely to develop drug addictions. I think that is a fucking huge pro if a child is able to introduce the <clears throat> sexual acts as perfect not, as early not, as possible. You, you really believe that? So why aren't I, you? I a genuinely that? believe that. So why aren't you fucking kids then? Why aren't I fucking kids? Firstly, yeah. it's illegal, and secondly, I'm talking about sexual acts, and and I think it's my fault that I maybe I misrepresented my position, but in terms of sexual penetration, I think that um it would not be safe to you know like penetrate a child, uh like you know. Um, until he's like the age of 12, because obviously his body parts are not fully developed. But in terms of um, non-penetrative sexual acts, like um, making out or casual touching of the genitals, definitely, I would think that it's very ideal, as young as possible, one, two, three years old, touch, what? start slapping dicks around, what? buddy. Why? Casual touching of the genitals. He makes it sound as if they're playing Play-Doh, or or Candyland, no, the toddlers. They are toddlers are one to three years old. Okay. For toddlers, the following skills will typically be developing. Toddlers start to use number words in songs, but they don't yet understand what numbers mean. Toddlers begin to follow familiar routines in play, like putting a baby doll to sleep. Toddlers also start to explore simple shape puzzles and nesting cups and can understand some size words such as big and little. Not when it comes to your dick size. Toddlers are curious and ask lots of why questions. Not why are you getting your dick out, but why questions about their environment. Toddlers also enjoy spending time outside observing nature. They use all of their senses, uh, just not on you. Toddlers also pretend to be animals by imitating their motions and sounds. Flying like a bird, roaring like a lion, you know the drill. Most kids aren't even potty trained by the age of two. I'm not sure how a sexual encounter could benefit someone who is still shitting their pants. I don't know, you tell me. There's evidence that shows that children are already horny right when they're born. So the fact that you completely generalize and say that when, uh, when or there's a sexual relationship between a child and an adult, it's always the adult that wants it going instead of the child. It's mm. completely false. It is absolutely false. Well, and going you, back to... You have proof that like, babies will, will unzip a dude's pants and be like, yo, I want that dick. Um, I would think that that's a completely plausible scenario. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Remember this? If a child did indeed unzip an adult's pants and ask to see it, it is completely abnormal. It is considered uncommon behavior in seemingly normal children. Uh, Amos Yee, you make me uncomfortable. 
You make me, uh, triggered. You make me, uh, need a safe space. Uh, so, uh, hide your kids. Hide your kids, hide your kids. Cause they're raping everybody on here. Worst part about this is YouTube actually allows him to post these videos. And, on top of it, um, not the pedophilia videos in particular, but other videos on his channel are actually monetized. Slow clap for you, boob! The, uh, most intelligent platform that there is! As I say, sitting here filming a YouTube video. <sighs> I love you all. I hope you have a good rest of your week. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, Circle Jerk 2, and uh, check out some of my other videos. I have like almost 60 of them now. I've been doing this for over a year, so uh, don't discriminate. Check out some of the older ones. They may be more awkward and cringeworthy than this. I mean, <laughs> never mind, maybe not. This is about pedophilia, but I'll talk to you all later, and peace out.